Well, no, and, and, and uh, the, the, like you say, you're, you're leasing it. I guess we should transition into Google since we went off on this tangent. Like you said, you are leasing it pretty much indefinitely, uh, but the difference is most of this stuff Google gives you for free. Now, free isn't necessarily free. I'm going to go ahead, Mom, because, yes, I was going to give it with a caveat. Thank the Lord that Google is going to be Google's revenue model is as such that it doesn't nickel and dime us as a typical application service provider used to do, right? They're, and that's something that Apple is frustrated with. That's something that Windows is frustrated with. It's something that BlackBerry is frustrated with because when Android's published out there, they're like, how do we compete with this? Because Google's model for uh, revenue, whether with Android, their services and how they handle it, and licensing is far different from the models that, that are traditional. And that's the whole point of suing and, and, and Microsoft's whole point about HTC. They want to put tax tags. You, you, you know, you, 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 you say that, but, and you say it's a top gene and opportunity cost and so forth, but I have a sneaking suspicion some point three, five years down the road, there's going to be a, like, everybody who bought Android device XYZ, because I, I get these little letters all the time, like, you you were involved in dealing with company which you left because they screwed you, but there's now been a class action suit against them, and you're entitled to blah dollars. Please fill out this paperwork and get it. It would not surprise me when the pot gets big enough if at some point some ambulance chaser goes and makes a name for themselves by countersuing on behalf of anybody who bought the device X for a thing and puts the whole thing back on trial and it's just there's a settlement. Everybody gets a blah dollar refund. <laughs> it's like, it wouldn't... Yeah. Um, but so long, I think Google's got a protective measure in that. The reason why Microsoft and Apple don't directly go after Google is because they, they technically can't legally, right? They, they pick up, they pick the combination of the phone versus, uh, or the phone in conjunction with the OS versus just going after the OS. No, no, and, in, in Microsoft's case, they're literally going just after the OS. But I thought, no, their royalties are from HTC. Not from, not from Google. But not, not for anything whatsoever to do with any hardware at all. They're, 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 they're wait, well, wait a minute! Well, wait a minute! It is the, uh, what did I say? It is a conjunction of software on the hardware. No, that no, that's not what my that's off that, of the HTC hardware. No, on, on, no, on that that's not that's not the Android operating system. No, no, that, that's not what Microsoft's getting money for. Microsoft's getting money for because they claim the software is theirs. What do you mean the software is theirs? They claim the Android software is Microsoft software. That's what they're getting money for. I thought it was for that. Um, Patent dispute. But the patent dispute is a purely software patent. They're claiming that the Android That's software... A violation. They're not saying that. I mean, literally. No, no. Microsoft's claim, literally, is that the Android operating system is Microsoft software. You have to show me the link to that, because I remember uh, the patent that they were arguing about. But yeah, yeah, no, but literally they're claiming that the functions of the Android operating system, not anything HTC added, nothing, literally the software Google is distributing is in violation of a Microsoft patent. Which means that has... They're going after Motorola or anybody. Or, or no, no, they are. They're going after everybody now. And, and they, like, Google needs to stand up to this and go, okay, we let it slide with one. They're going after Barnes & Noble. They're going after Motorola. And now they've said, now that we've got $5 out of HTC, we'd like 12 to 15 out of this next round of people. It's like, and every time that they add more people to the suit, they're doubling or tripling how much money they think they're entitled to. They're going to milk that for every penny they got. It, it, uh, I have to see that. I'll have to reread that patent. That, 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 that. Yeah, it's like it, it is purely software. Their claim so is the. So, you think everybody that uh, Microsoft is suing is going to get together and just like, try to nullify the previous lawsuits? Uh, if, and if they're smart, Google would get behind the companies that are getting attacked. And, yeah, but in the same way, in the same way Apple. In the same way, Apple is getting behind the uh, software vendors who are basically doing following Apple's rules and are getting sued for it. You know, Apple's standing behind them. Google's leaving the Android handset manufacturers out in the cold. 
Google needs to realize we can't let this go on on site just because they're not attacking us because it is an attack on the Android platform. Literally, it's not an attack on any particular handset manufacturer. It's saying we're entitled, we created Android, not Google. And Google needs to, you know, otherwise all of these rulings can be used to then go after Google successfully. Google needs not to sit back and wait for that. It'll cost them eight times as much to defend against the suit that'll come if they don't come and nip it in the bud cheaply and cost effectively now. So I was just saying, if they don't do anything, the perfect storm will blur but, they, they I don't know, but, I, but you got to explain to me how they're going to defend it because they're not until someone sues Android or Google directly and not through a hardware provider uh, what is Google's claim in, in, in court going to be I, I, Go I mean, Google's claim in court because Google has patents of their own basically it's in Google's best interest to assure this turns into the case of mad that it really is which is, you know, uh, the the on some of these patents, what's patented isn't, it, you know, it's it's the idea of two plus two equals four. It, it literally is that bad. Um, it, do you think after all this, said, all this is said and done, do you think the patent office is going to get their stuff together? <laughs> on or, that, what? Will it be like people just saying like they're all pedoed and it's like? Like, we don't want these frivolous lawsuits with all these, like, bogus patents that shouldn't be patents, you know? Well, like Bit was saying, the court's part of the check. But, um, it, it's, uh, and that's because not... Because of, of a $15 an hour job, um, uh, someone not doing that job right, that costs, like, hundreds of millions of dollars in infrastructure, you know? Uh, and it prevents innovation and all kinds of things. Yeah, uh, just because one fifteen, a $15 an hour guy was lazy, yeah. Yeah, and I and honestly, I don't. I think they make more than fifteen an hour. But at the well, end of it's thirty, okay. Well, at the end of the day, it's like Bit was saying the other day. Software patents are, can be very confusing, and and there's some what I would call unethical lawyers who are deliberate uh, who are deliberately better, who are deliberately drafting patent applications using misleading language, directly aimed at misleading the patent office. To approve okay, things like that. What Apple does, but instead of saying unfortunately, they say as it turns out. It, 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 all the all the companies are doing this. It's not. It's Apple. It's Microsoft. In some cases, Google. It, it, it's it's blatant across the board. You know, b deliberately misleading. Uh, drafting documents which you know claim well the sky is blue except when it's full of yellow polka dots uh, and it's like it's like and they're like oh okay so you, you're, you're not patenting the sky you're patenting the yellow polka dot sky okay approved it's like uh, you know it, it it's complex to say the least uh, let's move on. Anyways, um, since, since we got off on Google, then what do we think about the fact well, that... Well, no, let's, let's, yeah, let's continue Google because I want I do want to lead that. I like the Microsoft line, but let's finish to Google because I wanted to segue into, into Microsoft. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, well, there's not that much going on in Google. What do we think about the fact that the Chromebooks, at least the first ones coming out, actually cost more than a netbook that's an actual local computer as opposed uh, to largely a relay node? I find it very laughable. Uh, I, I just think that's the wrong price point for that. Yeah, for an appliance device like that, it has to be cheaper. You know, the only reason why desktops still exist in the consumer market is because they're like $300 at Walmart, you know? Okay. You said you wanted to move on to Microsoft a bit? Well, yeah, there was, there, was, there was something that I found interesting in, in how many Apple pundits uh, keep talking about profit share. And I, I had done some research on it in that Apple is not number one in desktop profit market share. Nope. It, it, it's, it's not number one in actual phone market share either. It's only when you combine them all together, all of Apple services together, that they have a gigantic profit share, right? Now, I, I, I did some research today, and this was, this was also driven by uh, John Gruber, uh, whom, whom, I, whom, I, whom I read a lot, but 
find sometimes it's just like, wait a minute, let's let's double check this. Well, the, it turns out that Microsoft is actually number four for all companies, all markets, everything in terms of profit share. Yep. Exxon's, number, Exxon's number one. Uh, AT&T is like number two and Chevron's number three. Yep. And then comes Microsoft. So you have oil and gas, right. then telecommunications, then another oil and gas, yeah. then Microsoft. Yeah, then Microsoft is number four for the most profitable. Then, get this, IBM is number seven for most profit. Apple, I just find that ironic because Apple set out to try to destroy IBM, right? I, I just find it a little, because the thing that I don't like about some of the posts that I read from these pundits is they, it is, is, and maybe I'm reading it wrong. And if I am reading it wrong, I'll admit to that I'm reading it wrong. But I, 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 I detect a little bit of arrogance in saying, oh, well, look at Apple's doing this and that. And, and, and I, don't, I don't like that unless it's actually true. If it's, right, if it's true, great, okay. But <laughs> usually the responses to these these Apple pundits make are responses to other people and saying, oh, well, Apple's being uh, outperformed uh, in the desktop market and, 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 and computers, you know, they only have so many Macs and all this. And then the response is, well, hey, Apple is leading in profit share. And I know the response is saying, this is not a repeat of Microsoft versus uh uh, Apple. True, it's not. This is where, where you know the iPhone and the iPad are very different markets than, than what happened back then. But the thing of it is, is that mm. Microsoft is number four. Microsoft is number four, and IBM is number seven. Apple is number eight for most profit. So I just found it ironic. The two enemies that Apple originally set out to. And go to, well, IBM being the first one to say, well, hey, we're uh, you know, and then that goes down to what it's like. I think, uh, it, it, you know, it, it's Apple is genius at one thing, and that is marketing spin. The fact that they have millions of millions of people, in spite of the very facts you just named, going around saying Apple makes more money, Apple is that they've able to convince. But that's not saying that. That's Apple pundits. I'm saying that. Regard what what okay coming from like John Gruber if you if you know about John Gruber he'll he'll be on a podcast and say I don't understand why people are still trying to frame Android versus the iPhone as Mac you know Mac versus PC but he'll be the first to say Apple is making more profit share when someone says oh well Apple is is getting crushed in terms of market share, but not, and then and then Gruber makes the point of saying, well, not profit share. And I know that stems from saying, well, and I myself lived the very dark years of, of, of Apple to till it's uh, where it is today, and I'm happy to see where Apple is today. And I see nothing wrong with market, but I will also be the first to say that if you do give Apple products a try, they're they're all they are great in what they do. Now, of course. I, I have to disagree. I've tried them and don't find them great. You and I build custom PCs. No OEM on this freaking planet, whether it's Dell, Gateway, or HP, can compete with people like you and I and Commodore. Even, even, on, even on the things I don't build, like, you know, the iOS versus Android versus WebOS versus... I, I find the experience iOS... From day one, I found the experience lacking. Uh, I, right. Back when the iPhone came out, I was like, everyone's like, iPhone, <laughs> iPhone, iPhone, <laughs> iPhone. I went to the store, I picked it up. I, I'm like, this is lacking. It, it, that, that was my first reaction. Right, well, let's see. I don't even own an iPhone device. I have owned Macs and I have because I couldn't take it anymore. Okay. So I think I, I would probably be considered a worse person, as you would say. There's people that come and say, "I am I'm a traitor." Whatever. You know, I I have experienced iOS. I own. I I've, I've been with Apple longer than m most people that probably watch my videos. The, the thing of it, the, 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 uh, you know, how in their age, you know, and how old they are. But um, the the thing of it is, is that I'm not going to say that they don't make a bad product. I never bought the first iPhone. Because I have the 
I guess the bias is saying, well, I'm a developer. And when Jobs is talking about everything runs through the browser and through Safari, I hate Safari. I still hate it to this day. To me, it's a pile. Now, of course, I'm going to what's wrong with you, Mr. Fitton? I'm like, look, I have tons of reasons why Safari is a pile. I have tons of reasons of, of, of why I say the iPad is, is absolutely useless to me. Unless I find some nit back that's incredible. I have yet to find it yet. But I, I go back to like Jobs saying, oh, it's going to browse better. No, it doesn't. A youth experience to me is not about cutting off all your arms and legs just for the sake of saying, well, the continuity is, is, is fine. Do you, you, you understand the metaphor I'm making? Yeah. It's like, I will not sacrifice the options that I need to, to, to live, whether they may be buggy, okay? They may cause a bit of problems for the sake of some sort of smooth thing. That, to me, is not user experience. Your experiences, I need what well, I need. Well, let's say, you know this I mean? is bit that, that somehow we, we've got on Apple from Microsoft, but I have no idea how, but, um, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, but, yeah, but, but at the, at, at the end of the day, this is where you and I disagree. It's like, to me, that is indicative of the experience Apple is trying to sell, and I want nothing to do with it. I want but nothing to do with having my hands with having my hands tied behind my back in the name of what supposedly is better. I, I, I want nothing to do with that. I'm like, they're my hands, let me do what I think's best. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We really disagree because we did a whole show on how Apple used to be and where it is now, right? <laughs> and what do I do now? Most of the time I complain, right? So, I mean, are we really... I think we're agreeing more than just I, 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 think, I think at the end of the day, you still have faith that can come back. I lost yes, faith. I, I, I lost that. faith that that will ever be the Apple way back in the late 80s. Even when it came back in the early aughts, I'm like, it'll go away. And well, it went away! Not Sorry, they're not dis- <laughs> the rumors say they're not discontinuing the Mac Pro yet. Uh, they said it's going to be a new Sandy Brick one. I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably start making Macintoshes. Yeah. A, 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 anyways, before we get now, the- now I, did, I wanted to stay on Microsoft because yeah, they were they were the fourth, and, 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 and that gets into like you're you're talking about like the Connect for Windows and SDK beta and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Isn't the Xbox one of the most profitable profit center? I mean, pro- profitable items that. Uh, Microsoft, you know, is, is actually well entrenched. Actually, uh, a profit is probably the wrong word to use for the Xbox. It makes money now, but that's only because the X, because this run of console systems has run forever. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, because of the yeah, but. I, yeah, I'm that console person, I, so I, you know, I'm very naive when it comes to consoles and how they perform and what, what have you. Yeah, keyboard and mouse, huh? Yeah, but it, it, it's, um, <laughs> well, no, I, 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 well, I'll do anyone on a control, on a, on a control of the keyboard and mouse, sorry. <laughs> Uh, that's how I game, you know. That's like, of course, when I'm gaming, I have to have that keyboard with the special configuration over here on the left for, you know, having control over that, That's not... Sure, like, okay, Mitch, let's go. Yeah. It, you know, most people will probably defeat me because it, it's like, I remember Unreal Tournament. There's a, a friend of mine, <laughs> Silkai, on, on YouTube, who got who got me in this, he said, get on Unreal, Unreal Tournament. I was like, what is that? Because I, I like playing... Uh, it, it, it's basically virtual people killing each other. I know, I know. So <laughs> I, I this and I regret it. I hate it. I was so pissed at him. I was like, this is a pile. I hate this game. There's, there's no rules. You know, I, I like... I like. No, the, the rule of Unreal Tournament is kill or be killed. There is a rule. It's for being this shit. And then and it's like jumping around in right. shoes, like jumping into it. I'm like, wait a minute, okay? And maybe I'm old school, fine, I'm too old, so, you know, okay, I don't care, make fun of me of that shit. But the thing of it is, is that I like, I love the Rainbow Six. If you get shot in the head, you're dead. There's none of this, like, you get hit ten times and that kills you as a user on the thing. I like, I like the real challenges of, of I mean, I was in the Marine Corps for crying out loud. I was in, I was in it. Well, and, and pers- personally, I like I'm with some you. Of the, the tactics that, you know. In a virtual realm, so I, I do enjoy uh, a lot of these Tom Clancy realistic games. I like the like the Raven Shield. I like the uh, older. Uh, no, I, I, 
the, 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 I, 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 I'm with you. I, I can't stand that, like, it's like somehow you're Herculean strong and you're invincible and you can fall 50 stories and not die. I'm like, I, 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 I like the ones that are based more on actual physics and, and preferably the ones where everything in the environment is movable. If there's a box here, even if it's not intended, I could pick it up and move it over here and use it as a shield. You know, it's what, whatever. Like, I, 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 I like those. Huh? They are, they are always so I, my of Hell from Halo. Uh. Yeah, well, I, and you know, Duke Nukem Forever is out, but I, I doubt any of us would it's like not it. A pre that I'm not really interested, but still a Duke Nukem game. Uh, you know, I have half a mind, I have half a mind to to figure out a way to, to go play, I have half a mind to get it and play it or something, just because I have fond memories of you know, Duke Nukem back in the, the day. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like, I like, Ghost Recon, Rainbow Six. You wanna dance? You wanna dance? Shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, get, getting back my, my point to... My point to it was is that the people that are going to take a challenge to saying, oh, a keyboard versus a game controller. Of course, most, most people will probably beat me in these games, like Unreal Tournament, I don't really think about the, it. They, they, have tur they have tournaments where that is the whole thing. They have they have one team using game controllers and the other team using keyboard and mouse. And that's, I, that, that's like, the, it's like bragging rights. We've proven the keyboard and mouse is better. We've proven right. the game controller is better. Man, what was that? What was that? Um... <laughs> What was that? I always found that PCs had better response time than than than, the, than like a console if they were on the same network. I, I mean, that's just my observation. It, I mean, it, I, 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 honestly, today it's become what interface you prefer. Today mm -hmm. there are about six, one half dozen the other. Some people, the keyboard and mouse strafing, it makes more sense. To other people, the two joystick game controller talking around makes more sense. At the end of the day, it depends what kind of brain you have and how your spatial acuity. Right, 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 right. For certain right, now, people, one's yeah. better than the other. What was the name? It's a mod to. Uh, I want to say the Half Life. Is it the Half Life Two engine? Uh, 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 it was, uh, and it takes place in Iraq or something. Yeah, you had soldiers versus. Uh, the terrorists. Oh, well, you're talking about, well, oh, Counter-Strike, uh, Counter yeah. Insurgency. Insurgency. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, okay, yeah. Insurgency. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, God, which engine was that based? Oh, I know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A anyways, th so do we even want to talk about the Windows SDK? There's a Connect SDK! And we think it's we think it's um, Microsoft's answer to the fact that there's an open source driver now. They're like, okay, maybe we should have a Connect SDK since there's now an open source Connect driver. And if we don't make an SDK, other people will make one without us. <laughs> we have to control the Connect. 